Hello, Nick Jones here again from the AB series. It's an advanced session today. Please read the disclaimer before taking part. And just to pre-warn you, I use this as my warm up. I do not recommend this for everyone. If you want to do a full warm up before doing this, check the description below. Apart from that, all the equipment you need today is a mat and your own body weight. And that's it. Apart from that, let's get to it. Rest. So the first move is going to be crunches, our bog standard crunch, hands to, the, to lightly Let's support go. the head, chin away from the chest, head looking straight up at the ceiling above you, legs in the air for that extra contraction and just lift your shoulder blades on and off the ground. What you're looking to do is you're trying to shorten that distance between the sternum and pelvis. Imagine a piece of string between it, just trying to shorten it, you're just lifting your shoulder blades or your rib cage on and off the floor. Nice big pause squeeze at the top. Halfway there. If you're feeling it in the top of your legs at all or in your back, you may want to support your legs a little by putting them up on a chair or on a stability ball if you would like. Again, the closer that chin is Ten to the chair, the more likely you are to feel it in the back of the neck. Nice big pause, big squeeze. Rest. Fire up the abs. Next up, arm straight, back of the hands to the outside of the bum. And then we're gonna do our reverse crunch where we keep the same bend in the legs at all Let's times. Go. Heels gently touch the floor and then knees towards your chest. Little roll up of your hips at the top. Okay, so don't roll up too high. And again, make sure those arms are nice and straight the whole way length of your back to support it nicely. If you are feeling this at all in your back or the top of your thighs, bend the legs more. If you're still then feeling it in your back, I, pre I recommend you stop and Halfway go back there. to one of my beginner sessions or one of my lower back pain special specialized sessions. So if you notice that bend in the leg isn't increasing or decreasing, it's my knees that are going away and in. That's what shortens that distance between the pelvis and sternum, this time from the pelvis up. Right, round number two, same two moves again. We're into the crunches, legs in the air, or if you're feeling it in the top of your thighs, you can leave Let's your feet go. on the floor like I'm doing, okay? Again, I get such a good connection with my abs when I'm training them that I feel like this is enough. Legs in the air for the extra contraction unless you're feeling it in the top of your thighs. If you start feeling any of these exercises in anywhere but your abs, that's not what we want to do. Halfway there. We want to just focus on the abs. To make this harder, pour squeeze for longer at the top. Breathe out, flex the Ten abs as hard as you can. Remember to engage your core at all times. Imagine you're trying to get into a pair of trousers that are one size too small. You want to try and hold the tummy in, brace your core. Same goes on this move. Round number two, reverse crunches. We are doing Let's knees go. to chest, back supported with the arms. I tend to teach this option because you can make it harder by putting your arms out to the side and make your core work harder. However, Nine people out of 10 prefer it with their back supported, so I'm teaching that first. But if you do want to make it harder, you can put your arms out to the side. But if you start feeling it in your back, put your hands and arms back underneath Halfway you there. to support the back. So we can focus on the contraction of the abs. If you're doing an ab workout and you're feeling it in your lower back throughout, I'll guarantee you the next morning you'll wake up and your back is not going to be better for it. 10 seconds. So let's keep going with these reverse crunches, then we'll be into the second pair of exercises. Rest. It's an advanced session today, so we've got a long workout. We're gonna hit these abs hard. So the C crunch now. Let's it's go. Similar to the very first move, except now the legs are going up and down. So it's everything up and in, everything down and out. Okay, this just increases the intensity of the contraction at the top. Again, if you're feeling this in your back at all, leave your legs on the floor and keep going with the move you were doing at the start. 
Again, chin away from your chest, head looking straight up at the ceiling. Halfway there. So we don't pull on that neck. Again, if you just look, I'm trying to shorten that distance between the sternum and pelvis every rep. Make each rep harder than the next. Even though it's a long workout today, Ten seconds. I want you feeling it as much as possible in your abs. Nice and early on. Rest. Excellent. Move number two, in pair number two. We're gonna arm straight, again, slide the hands down and round to the back of the hands on the outside Let's of the go. bum again. Arms dead straight, and we're gonna hit some scissors, okay? Core engaged before you attempt this. Make sure you're pulling that tummy button in, you're engaging your core, you're bracing your core as if someone was about to punch you in the tummy. Then legs out nice and straight, and just cross them over, just cut the grass. Again, there's a little bend in my legs, you might notice. That's just for me, where I can then Halfway feel there. a bit less in the top of the legs. If your legs are locked out straight and you're squeezing your quads to keep your legs in the air, you're gonna start feeling it in the quads and we don't want that, okay? We wanna be feeling it in our abs and Ten our abs seconds. only. Admittedly, when we are working kind of lower abs like this, so I'm doing an upper ab move, a lower ab move, and alternating, you know, your hip flexors do cross over Rest. a little bit. But we're gonna try and avoid feeling it in the hip flexors as much as we can. Back to the C crunch, round number two, on pair number two. Let's go. Again, crunch up, lift the legs, squeeze at the top. To make it harder, pause, squeeze for longer. Spend as little time at the bottom, as much time at the top as you can. Again, keep that chin away from your chest. Head looking straight up at the ceiling above you. Do not pull on your head. Just gently support it, then you're just lifting your shoulder blade Halfway there. off the ground. So I'm almost crunching a little bit first, then lifting my legs, then crunching an extra bit, just to get that extra squeeze in my abs. So I'm almost doing two crunches per crunch. 10 seconds. This, if you want to feel it, that little bit more. Again, if you're feeling it in your back, keep your legs on the floor and just do the crunch. Rest. Again, your abs should be super alive right now. They should be screaming. Back to the scissors. I'm utilizing all Let's 10 go. of the seconds in the rest, as this is not an easy one, this one. Back of the hands to the outside of the bum, arms straight, core engaged the whole time. Again, as if you're trying to get into that pair of trousers that are too tight, sucking in the tummy, holding your core in, keeping that back nice and stabilized. You only want to be feeling it in those abs. Halfway there. <clears throat> Towards the end, you may start to feel it in the top of your thighs a little bit, but that's why each move, alternating move, is one that's like not heavy on the hip flexors, then one that does involve using them. 10 and seconds. And then alternating. Okay, so just keep it going. At this point, I started feeling it a little bit in my back, so I crunched my shoulder blades up a little bit. So I can increase the contraction in my abs as I was scissoring. Okay, now we are gonna move into the third Let's pair. Go. The V crunch, the hardest version of the crunch. It's a bit like the C crunch from the last round, but now the legs stay in the air. So you stretch the legs out nice and long, and then crunch everything in, but the legs don't touch the floor this time. If you feel it in your back at all, don't extend your legs out too far, I have to admit. Sometimes I feel this one a little in my back, so I'm not extending my legs out too far. Abs were cramping at this Halfway day. There. My abs were on fire. Again, if you're just a, if you're not feeling it at all in your abs right now, it means you're not engaging your abs. Okay, it's not a competition of who can make this workout look the easiest. Ten it's about seconds. How hard can you make your abs work? Then stretch out. Crunch in, everything out and long, everything Rest. in and squeeze. Big pause, big squeeze at the top position. Now, we're gonna move on to the second A exercise in the third pair, which is gonna be swimmers. Let's Very go. similar to the scissors. Arms straight, back of the hands under the bum. This time, legs straight-ish, and you're going straight up and down rather than crisscrossing the legs. So if you notice, that small bend in my legs is still there. Okay, again, that's to try and not fire up my quads. 
it was gently touched the ground each time. They were actually touching the ground a little harder than I thought they were whilst I was doing this. Halfway there. But that little gentle touch on the floor keeps your abs engaged and they don't get a rest at the bottom if you completely take the weight off. If you're feeling it in your back or in the top of your thighs, bend the legs a little more as you swim. Again, another way like I was doing here is just lifting my shoulder blades slightly and bringing my head up rest. to engage my abs that little bit harder as I swam. Right, Let's here go. we go, round two on pair number three. The V crunches again, stretch everything out nice and long. Crunch everything in, everything out and long, everything in and squeeze. If you do start to feel this too much in the top of your thighs or in your back, go back to the previous move, the C crunch, where the feet hit the ground each time. Again, like I Halfway just did, there. There, so just switch back to the C crunch. This is your option if you are pe feeling it too much in your thighs. The good bit about this move is it allows those legs to rest that little bit in between each crunch meaning you can focus on your abs. 10 seconds. If you can keep going with a V crunch, keep going with your legs in the air. But again, months after filming this, I actually found out I've got Rest. a few issues with my hips. I'm going to see a consultant about it. And that's why my uh, hips are kind of firing more than they should. Let's go. Okay, right, now we're going to go back to the swimmer, alternating swimmer, okay, so legs moving up and down. If you notice, it's the, what we want is the knees moving in and out with each swim, okay, we don't just want the knees staying still and then you're just bending out the knee, like just the shins moving up and down, we want the knees and the whole, we want the femur bone to be the upper part of your leg, we want that moving in and out, that's how we get the ab engagement. Not an easy one, this one, that's why I'm needing pauses. Again, if you're not needing pauses, ask, could you engage your core more? 10 seconds. You know, if you're at the point where you still feel you, like you can talk as you do this, chances are you're not really holding that tummy in and bracing as hard as you Rest. could be. Excellent, so that's that combination done. The first 12 minutes done, now we're gonna hit some obliques. We're gonna do our side V sits. Let's go. One arm that you can't see at the moment is out at 90 degrees, stabilizing my body. I'm gonna stretch out nice and long, then reach up, touch my toes. There's the option where you bend everything in, or to make it harder, keep your legs straight. That's it, you see, I'm trying to get as much of my body up into the air as I can, legs and upper body, reach for the toes at the top. You want to make it harder, pause, squeeze at the top and hold Halfway it for longer. There. If you want to make it easier, bend the legs round towards the chest. But we want everything straightening out nice and long at the bottom and everything coming up and in at the top. 10 seconds. We're actually going to do this move each side three times back to back. Rest. Go swapping over now. We can see the arm now, it's at a 90 degree angle to support. Keep your head looking at that grounded hand if you're feeling this in your neck at all. Excellent, good stuff. Lovely big pause, big squeeze at the top. Notice there's just a momentary, momentary pause where I just pause at the top, hold the contraction, and then go back down. Halfway there. And just keep going through it. Just burn up those abs. Squeeze them harder and harder. Every rep, make it harder Ten than the last. 10 seconds. Again, with these advanced workouts, just because it's a long time, doesn't mean you shouldn't be properly engaging your core. Rest. You want them as tense as possible. Squeeze as hard as you can at the top. Round two. Stretch go. out nice and long. Big pause, big squeeze at the top. If you actually want to make it harder, you can pause, squeeze longer than I am at the top position. And that's it. And try not to cross your legs. 
keep them next to each other. Big stretch, big squeeze at the top. Halfway there. If this hurts at all, you may want to go back to the start and just repeat some of the earlier moves. Ten seconds. Or go to a different video and hit some different exercises for the obliques. Keep it going. Over to the other side, I'm actually, and again, if you want to make it harder like I'm doing, I'm kind of skipping my rest, okay? I'm not taking all of the seconds Let's of the go. rest. If you're following along at this at, at home, take as much or as little of those rests as you like, okay? If you're struggling, take more rest, that's absolutely fine. But again, you should be struggling with this. If you're not struggling with this, can you engage and squeeze those abs harder? Halfway there. Ten seconds. Keep going through. You know what you're doing now. Just keep going. Just keep squeezing those abs. Rest. Again, every rep. Make it harder than the last one. Into round three, round three of three, staying in the same exercise, side V6. Let's I go. really like these ones. They hit a really nice, almost where the line of your abs are. They sort of hit that area. And uh, I've got a lot of good results with these kind of moves where you're working predominantly on your side. Approaching Halfway the end there. of the workout, just do what you can, make it as hard as possible all the way through to the end. Remember, if you like these kind of longer advanced videos, what you can do is, you know, you can watch, the, but you want some different videos, go to one Ten of the seconds. intermediate videos, do the intermediate workout, and then just repeat it straight away again, just put it back to the start. Then you can hit one, well, you know, you can do more like this 20 minute Rest. kind of start session. Right, here we go then. Last move on the final pair, then we're going to do a bit of a plank Let's finish go. to the end. I love putting the plank at the end because when you do a plank fresh, you can kind of use your upper body bit, you can use your legs a little bit to kind of take the pressure off your abs and you can hold it for longer. I like doing it after I've fatigued my abs already because then I know the only place I'm going to feel it is in my abs. Yes, Halfway it there. might not be quite as show-offy that I can't then do, say, an eight-minute plank after everything I've done, but I'm feeling it in my abs more and my abs ache more the day after. Ten Keep seconds. Keep through with this one. Option, legs straighter to make it harder. Bend your legs more if you want to make it a bit easier. Rest. Right, here we go then. Big plank to the finish. Remember, we want our elbows directly underneath our shoulders. We want our bum in line with our shoulders. But if you have a slightly tight lower back, I would recommend the bum going higher than the shoulders to protect the back, okay? What we definitely don't want to be doing is we don't want that bum to drop below our shoulders. If you drop it below your shoulders, there. in my opinion, it becomes a lower back workout. Your core is sagging and you're holding everything in your lower back. If you're back, if you are prone to having a little bit of a tight Ten lower seconds. back like I am, just have that bum ever so slightly higher. And if you're feeling it at well all done. in your back, in whatever position you're in, what you want to do is lift that bum up towards the ceiling, contract your abs harder, and then just hold it with those abs contracted, holding your core. And apart from that, just hang on in there. So I'm just ignoring the rest on this plank. Can't remember exactly how long I go for now on this one, but 
I just ignore those rests and just keep going. If you want to, if you need or want to take those rests, you can put your knees down for 10 seconds, then go straight back in when you can. If not, just hang in there. So this is why I'm doing these YouTube videos, is because I want you to try, I want to try and give you a more personalized at-home ab workout with these harder options, these easier options. So you've always got room to improve. Okay, finished there. I think it's about two minutes that plank. Cool of the day there. Get off the arms, have a bit of a stretch. My abs were pretty toast at this point, I remember. Now we're just gonna stretch them out. Onto your back, legs and arms as thin and as long as you can, so have them together and pull yourself as long as you can, then suck in your tummy as hard as you can. You should feel a lovely stretch through your abs. It's called our pencil stretch. Then bring a knee in to rest, like that, to rest your lower back, and then go back out long again. Okay, and that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed it today. Hope you enjoyed that advanced session. Again, if you want more like that, you can just repeat those intermediate ones. If not, there will be more coming and look forward to seeing you in the next one. To support the channel, like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. It really supports the channel. I super appreciate it and see you next time.